Pre-season 8 is now here. And the biggest change in this new season is the rune system. Runes and masteries are now being combined into one single page and everything is free. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown about everything that you need to know about runes in season 8. There is one key word that needs to be mentioned before we begin, and that is the word adaptive. Adaptive simply means either your AD or your AP, whichever one you have more of. Now, first things first, you have five paths to choose from this season. The path that you choose is mainly based on the keystone that you want and the passive stats boost that each path gives you. So we're going to go through these one by one. First up is precision. Precision is mainly based for auto attack based champions and duelists. The first keystone that you have is press the attack. It is an auto attack based three hit passive that once triggered deals a small amount of adaptive damage. Afterwards, the enemy champion becomes vulnerable, taking more damage from all sources for 6 seconds. Press the attack does not have a cooldown, and it does interact with auto attack resetters such as Titanic Hydra. Next up, we have Lethal Tempo. One and a half seconds after damaging an enemy champion, you will gain a pretty large attack speed buff based on level. It will likely last for 6 seconds, and the attack speed that you receive from this keystone exceeds the attack speed cap. Finally, you have Fleet Footwork. It is literally the same thing as Warlord's Bloodlust, except now the healing is adaptive instead. You will choose one of these three keystones and it will define a lot of how you play. In the first column you have Overheal. It's pretty much a Bloodthirster passive, except it's more effective when allies heal you. Triumph is the same thing as Dangerous Game, except it does not give you back mana and instead gives you more HP and a little bit of gold. Presence of Mind takes your mana bar and turns it white after you level up or kill an enemy champion. While your mana bar is white, all of your abilities that you use that cost mana are fully refunded of their mana cost. In the second slot we have the Legend Trio. Each one gives you a different stat based on which one you picked. You gain stats by killing minions, monsters, and enemy champions. You can gain attack speed, tenacity, or lifesteal based on which one you chose. Each one caps at a different number. And finally, you have three effects that are similar to ones already in League. You have Coup de Grasse, which is a much more effective Relentless. Cut Down is a weaker version of Lord Dominic Regard's passive. And Last Stand gives you more damage to champions when you are lower on HP. After you choose the three masteries that you want, you now have to pick a second path. The first path that you originally picked will define what stat bonus that you're going to get this game. For precision, it's bonus attack speed. This works the same on every single path except for inspiration. After you've picked your second path, you will then get to choose two more lesser masteries from that path in the same manner. Next up we have Domination. Domination is mainly for champions that are looking to burst and hunt people down. Electrocute is basically Thunderlord's Decree, except it has more damage and a longer cooldown. Predator gives your boots an active effect. You can channel your boots while moving, and you gain 45% movement speed for 15 seconds. When you damage something, the effect ends and deals a decent amount of adaptive damage. However, the cooldown is extremely long and can be cancelled if you're damaged while channeling. Dark Harvest makes champions, large minions, and large monsters drop soul essence. It is similar to Thresh, except Dark Harvest makes you deal more damage. The damage is adaptive, and is exactly one more damage for each soul that you collect. In the first slot, we have Cheap Shot, which allows you to deal a tiny bit of true damage against champions with impaired movement speed. Taste of Blood heals you for a very small amount when you hit an enemy champion on a 20 second cooldown. And Sudden Impact gives you Lethality and Magic Penetration after exiting stealth or using a Blink Slash Dash type ability. In the second slot, you have Zombie Ward. A Zombie Ward is a ward that lasts 3 minutes, has 1 HP, and is visible to enemies. Zombie Wards are created when you destroy an enemy ward or when one of your wards times out. Zombie wards created by killing your opponent's wards do not count towards your ward limit. Ghost Poros are spawned when you sit in a brush for about 2 seconds. Ghost Poros last the entire game, but can be scared off by an enemy champion when he enters the brush. Whenever you enter a new brush, you will begin a channel that replaces your old Poro. Eyeball Collection gives you a decent amount of adaptive stats every single time you kill an enemy champion or kill enemy wards. This mastery is capped at 20 and gives you additional stats when you cap it out. The Hunter Trio gives you a different stat based on every single unique champion that you've killed similar to Rengar. Ravenous Hunter gives you healing from abilities, Ingenious gives you active item CDR, and Relentless gives you out of combat movement speed. When you pick a secondary path for domination, you will gain a small amount of adaptive stats. Next up we have Sorcery. This path is mainly based for caster type champions. Summon Aerie gives you a little fairy that helps you with shielding allies and damaging enemies. The cooldown for Aerie is 2 seconds and the time that it takes for the Aerie to travel back to you. 
Arcane Comet hurls a dodgeable comet that deals adaptive damage to an enemy when you hit them with an ability. If Arcane Comet is on cooldown, hitting your abilities reduce its cooldown. The damage is level based and a small adaptive amount. Phase Rush is the same thing as Storm Raiders, except now it works as a 3 hit activation similar to Thunderlords, and only melee champions get the slow resistance now. For the first Fastery, you have Nullifying Orb. This is basically a very weak Hex Drinker shield that scales with level and an adaptive amount. Mana Flow Bind gives you a free ability use every 60 seconds and restores 8% of your missing mana. The Ultimate Hat reduces your ultimate's cooldown by 5%. Every time you use your ultimate, its cooldown is further reduced, up to a cap of 15%. Transcendence gives you 10% CDR when you hit level 10 and converts all over the cap CDR into a small amount of adaptive stats. Clarity gives you 4% increased move speed and turns 8% of your bonus move speed into adaptive stats. Absolute Focus will give you a decent amount of adaptive stats, but only when you are above 70% HP. Next up, you have Scorch. It's basically Deathfire Touch, except it scales off levels and base damages only. Water Marking gives you movement speed and some adaptive stats when you are only in the river. And Gathering Storm gives you adaptive stats every 10 minutes into a game. This amount is doubled almost every 10 minutes that this goes on. For Sorcery, when you pick your secondary path, you will gain adaptive stats, but you will gain slightly more than Domination. Next up, we have Durability. Grasp of the Undying is the exact same as last season, except it permanently increases your health by 5 every time you activate it. Aftershock activates after you CC an enemy champion. You will gain a decent amount of armor and magic resist for 2.5 seconds. After this expires, you'll deal magic damage to nearby enemies that scales with level and 3.5% of your max HP. Guardian gives you and an ally an automatic buff that automatically shields both of you when one of you would take damage. You also gain a small amount of movement speed, and the shield scales with levels, ability power, and bonus HP. Unflinching gives you 15% tenacity and slow resistance for 10 seconds. You also gain 10% tenacity and slow resistance for each summoner spell you have on cooldown. Demolish allows you to charge up a powerful attack against a tower when you're close to it. This attack deals a flat 125 damage plus 30% of your max HP as bonus physical damage. Font of Life marks enemies that you impair. Any allies that hit those enemy champions will heal for 1% of your max HP. Next up, you have Iron Shell, Mirror Skin, and Conditioning. Iron Shell gives armor, Mirror Shell gives MR, and Conditioning gives more than both combined after 10 minutes. Overgrowth permanently increases your HP after 8 monsters have died near you. It is approximately 2.5% more max HP for every 100 minions that die near you. Revitalize is a lot like Windspeaker's Blessing, except it does not give you the resistance buffs. It is 5% less effective on healthy allies, but 5% more effective on allies who are lower. Second Wind heals 4% of your missing HP over 10 seconds after taking damage from an enemy champion. When you pick the Resolve Path, you will always gain 130 more HP. And for the final path, we have Inspiration. This is a potential path for just about any single lane in the game. Unsealed Spellbook reduces your summoner spell cooldowns by 25%. You will gain one summoner spell shard at 2 minutes, and another one every 6 minutes thereafter. These shards allow you to switch summoner spells. You can't have two of the same summoner spell. The new summoner spell that you receive will have the same percentage cooldown as the one that you traded in. So if you didn't use the last summoner spell, you can immediately use this one. Glacial Augment makes your basic attack slow enemy champions. If you slow enemies with active items, you will shoot a freeze ray through them that slows them by an additional 50%. Kleptomancy is very similar to Bandit. However, only activates after you've cast an ability, and it doesn't just give you 5 gold, it can potentially give you small bonus consumables as well. Unfortunately, it is extremely rare that you will actually get one of the really good consumables. You are most likely to get pilfered gold packs, which you can open for a set random amount of gold, or you may sell them for a flat 65 gold first mastery that you have in the inspiration is Hextech Flash Traption. When Flash is on cooldown, you are able to get a small channel flash, and it has a smaller cooldown of 20 seconds. Biscuits Delivery gives you 4 biscuits over the first 12 minutes. Biscuits restore 15% of your missing health and mana, and consuming a biscuit increases your mana cap by 40 permanently. Perfect Timing will give you a commencing stopwatch. It turns into stopwatch after 6 minutes. Stopwatch can be used for a one-time Zhonya's effect. Stopwatch is also worth a decent amount of gold towards Zhonya's, GA, and Gargoyle's Stormplate. Magical Footwear gives you free boots at 10 minutes, but unfortunately you cannot buy boots any sooner than that. Magical Boots give you 10 more movement speed and upgrade for 50 gold less. Every single kill that you get gives you these boots 30 seconds faster. Futures Market allows you to go into debt to buy items. You cannot go into debt before 2 minutes. The amount of debt is based on how long the game has gone on. 
At 40 minutes, you would only be able to go into a maximum amount of debt of 350 gold. Minion Dematerializer gives you six active items at the start of a game. These active items instantly kill lane minions and increase your damage towards that type of minion by a percentage. It is reduced significantly towards the same type of minion every time you cast it. This effect cannot be activated in the first 155 seconds of the game. And for the final three, you have Cosmic Insight. It gives you 5% CDR across every single thing that you need and exceeds the CDR cap. Approach Velocity gives you 10% movement speed towards allies that are CC'd or enemies that you have CC'd. Celestial Body gives you 100 HP permanently, but you deal 10% less damage to champions and monsters until 10 minutes. When you pick the Inspiration Path, your pots and elixirs will be 20% more effective. But you will also gain the same but slightly better stat buff of the secondary path you pick as well. So when you pick Inspiration, you get to double dip on that stats boost. 